Shalom. Let us say our praises do unto Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rakakodash, the one to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a quick lesson. Um, this early morning, you know, um, I was gonna do this lesson. I was praying to do this lesson later, but you know, the spirit was on me now, and this is basically uh, based on uh, the tribe of Reuben. You know, the creek. You know, uh, the five uh, civilized tribes, as well as uh, the Iroquois Confederacy. You know of uh, which they're Reuben, you know, and as mixed as well as uh, mixed up with the, uh, you know, as as well as mixed up with the Southern Kingdom of Judah, all right, which would be uh, you so called uh, Judah, Judah Benjamin Levi, you know, and um, you know this is just a quick lesson. Uh, hopefully, uh, don't want to do it too long just gonna see where the spirit's gonna lead um, this is just a quick article it says the history of black native americans right which were not black all right um you know uh, you know we're uh we're brown we're not black you know they have that uh like they have that uh stereotype you know you know calling us black instead of referring us to our our biblical nationality our heritage right um see where the spirit's gonna lead all right this is uh referring to uh the five civilized tribes you know and uh throughout uh America, which would be uh, basically, uh, you know, Florida, um, Alabama, Oklahoma, uh, within that region. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of the elders, um, you know, like the elder, like the elders and, uh, and the, pro the apostles, you know, um, like Apostle Raka the elders in uh, over there Connecticut you know uh, Elder Manatazak um, the other brother too you know a couple a, a couple Reubenites you know and you see they're very dark you know and uh, you're gonna you, you might look at them and say oh okay like they're Negroes no but they're Reubenites you know so uh this is a lot of history, man, and they don't want, uh, you know, that basically this thing is uh, hidden, all right, because Esau knows, all right, you know, they stole our heritage, man. Although, although there are over 500 federal recognized Native American tribes, right, so if you watch uh, that documentary, the five, uh, the 500 tribes, you know, um, the guy who uh, he played uh, in that movie with, uh, in that movie with, in that movie with Whitney Houston, um, I, I, I'm like the bodyguard, you know, um, I, I think his name's Kevin Costner. Yeah, his name Kevin Costner. And he had like a, he had a great documentary that's based on our uh, history, all right, of, uh, the Israelites who scattered throughout uh, northern, central, and southern, and the Caribbean, right? The ten tribes, right? and uh, you know, so uh, the tribes was already here, man. You know, prior to uh, Esau coming over here, colonizing our people and all that. Although there are over five hundred federal recognized Native American tribes only five were considered that to be civil during the colonization like uh, uh, only five 
were considered to be civil during during the colonial period all right because uh, a lot of our people um the five civilized tribes you know they're a part of the Iroquois confederacy as well throughout uh canada all right through uh throughout the great lakes and as uh um you know oklahoma florida and uh and they were constituted you know like they had their own constitution laws and the clause right that uh they studied and that's why uh so-called uh, the canadian constitution the american constitution they're basically based off of uh our people right we're the one who civilized you know who uh you know who uh like who governed all right so uh yeah it says uh the five tribes which considered a stock at it said these five tribes which constitute of 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 uh cheek like the the choctaw the cherokee and the chuckasaw and the seminole had adopted of colonial practices such as christianity uh written constitution and plantation slavery all right so our people are still uh, a lot of the uh, this uh, seminoles and uh, certain tribes they uh, a lot of them they're uh, a lot of them are getting a lot of uh, grants loans and uh, basically uh, they made a, a conf they basically um, they were basically uh, basically like our people sold out you know for the most part it's the same thing what happened with the with the black church all right the, the black church throughout uh, america you know and uh you know and basically uh th th like they're not telling our people who they are and so on and so forth all right and i uh, can get a, a precept all right so look, yeah, let me get a precept because this is very uh, in depth, man. Uh, Genesis forty nine, and uh, start at one. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, "Gather yourself together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days." We're approaching the last days, so Jacob was a prophet, all right, and. Uh, and we know who Jacob will, is, all right, in the spirit, all right. It said, gather yourself together and hear ye sons of Jacob and hearken unto Israel, your father. Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, all right. So, you know, like, so that um, um, Reuben was the firstborn, but because he, uh, he basically uh he committed adultery right he uh you know reuben he slept with jacob's uh his concubine all right so like like thus he didn't get the blessing right and uh basically you know um like that's why judah got the uh got the upright like the upright birthright or the blessing all right because uh you know like because we come out of the waters of judah you know shiloh you know judah uh adam you know the heavenly father the heavenly father is a judah you know and his son all right so we come out of the the black man the so-called negro man seat reuben thou art my firstborn my my and beginning of my strength the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power right so our people they're very mighty and uh warrior war you know reuben you know um reuben half tribe manasseh and uh 
and Gad, you know, um, like they got the land first, you know, in uh, over there uh, in the land, you know, uh, like when we're in the land of Israel, you know, and basically uh, Reuben, half tribe, the half uh, tribe Manasseh and Gad, they uh, they stood. Uh, you know and they got the land and like they got you know their land first and uh joshua and uh half tribe manasseh gads and reuben we uh we basically like subdued you know like these canaanites you know and we uh and we got our land you know each tribe you know it says the excellency of dignity and power unstable as waters right and uh reuben you know they're all over the place all right um you know they're uh they're in the americas right now you know so-called uh five civilized tribes um they're calling themselves uh the Iroquois Confederacy uh, here in Canada, you know, or uh, Cree or Creek, you know, and that's why uh, we have a place in uh, in Ontario or Toronto. They call it's called Black Creek, you know, by uh, Jane Black Creek, you know, by uh, you know by Jane and Finch area, you know, like close to York University. There's a place called Black Creek. Right, and that's where our people were dwelling. Right, it says uh, creek. Right, it says uh, plain creek, wood creek, swampy creek, mossy creek, Jane Bay creek. You know, so uh, a lot of them, a lot of the Reubenites, they were scattered, you know, and they uh, there, so some of them were in the south. Know, throughout certain eastern parts of uh, Canada you know and uh, you know the, the plains and uh, as well as uh, the south as well all right it says uh, unstable as water thou shalt not excel stuck at me, me uh, show you this too We have a, I have a lot of notes that I uh, wrote down and I just want to make a quick lesson, you know, but, uh, you know, so a lot of these uh, Reubenites, you know, they were in uh, Canada and throughout uh, America, All right? It says the, the Cree are uh, a first nation, nation a first nation group located in the various parts of North America, including Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, to the west of Lake Superior, as uh, well as Lake Anas Anapska. It says it was one of the largest group of the first nation. All right. This is a very good thing. I didn't want to go too in depth, but uh, you could do your own research. This is uh, the Cree. Let me uh, slack you. The in the um. On the Iroquois Confederacy, look at their map. You know, through uh, Lake Ontario, through uh, the Mohawk, um, Anida, you know, these five tribes, you know, that was, uh, you know, over here, you know. And we had, uh, you know, we are our own constitution, our laws, you know, we were governed. 
unstable as waters. It's like a Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power, unstable as waters. Thou shalt not excel, because thou went, wentest up into my father's bed. Thou defilest thou it. He went up. Like he went up to my couch, right? So he committed adultery. So he never got the birthright of, uh, you know, as the as the of the firstborn. You know, you know it was given unto Judah, right? So it was all uh, set up in the spirit, right? But you know, but you know, you know, but Jacob still he he still blessed uh, Reuben, you know. Um. So yeah, so this is another article. This is uh, says the real history of the Black Native Americans, right? Which are not black, but this is referring to our, you know, um, you know the Reuben as well as Gad, you know, you know Ishakar, you know, and the other tribe, the ten tribe that was already here throughout the Americas. You know, and there's a, also a place called uh, throughout Ontario called it's called the Negro Creek or the Black Creek, right? Um, it's a good article too. Let me scroll down. It's a notable Black Native Americans, right? See, see, they're they're Reubenites, you know, but they could look like okay. You might look at them and say, oh no, like no, they're Judites, you know. No, 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 but they're Reubenites. You see, they have their, in like their, um, you know, like their garments, you know, their fringes, you know. She has her head, her head covered, you know. Like this girl, she, you know, she has her fringes, you know, that like she doesn't have her head covered, but, you know, but, uh, you know. She's uh, her name's Diana um, Fletcher, you know, she's a Reubenite, you know, and uh, basically there's a slave trade eventually, you know, uh, I'm going to get that. I probably have to do a part two of uh, the slave trade in Canada, man. All right. And uh, I already have it. I know it's or whatever. So I'm going to just uh, make it make a video and uh, Lord's will. Uh, for my next uh, in class, I also have another uh, a channel um, called uh, GMS Wisdom and Meekness. You know, that's my backup channel. Then I have uh, GMS Yasha Allah Bon Yamian, and uh, and also have another one on, off of uh, Rumble. You know. Uh, so Diana Fletcher was a member of the Seminole Nation, but was later adopted into like the Kiwa. She was said that to be a school teacher at the school built for Black Native Americans. Right, so uh, you know she is a she is a, a Reubenite, you know, or Native, you know. So uh, these are things that uh, you know that they don't want to acknowledge, or they don't want us, our, you know, the average uh, Negro or uh, speak to acknowledge Black Native Americans today. In uh, 2007, the Cre the Cherokee Nation Supreme Court ruled Black members who were brought into to the tribe. Native American, a Native American slave owner and freedmen, before were no longer to be a constituted member of the tribe. This is a device means uh, black members would not no longer be eligible for free health care and education, and and that's why it is, you know, we're not, you know, you you know, you had these Edomites, you know, who would basically run. Um, you know, these reservoirs, you know, like these damn reserves, 
you know, and uh, you know they they write all these uh, things in their law, you know, and they, they basically uh, leave you out there, and that's what it is. All right, so the, um, like this is the like the Kiowa people. Kiowa people are Native American tribes of uh, indigenous people of the Great Plains, right? Throughout you know here in Canada, you know throughout uh, you know Manitoba, you know Saskatchewan that region, um, you know the Rocky Mountains, you know um, Dakota, you know and so on and so forth. Um, scroll through here. In 1867, the Kiav were moved like to the reserve in southern Oklahoma. Right? So, uh, you know, a lot of them they were dwelling. You know, some of these uh, these Creek, you know, Reubenites were dwelling throughout uh, Canada. Some of them were brought to Oklahoma, and. Uh, so it's a whole uh, diaspora, right? You know, they're taking our people's land, our territories. You know, so uh, what else is there? We get another precept. Probably definitely have to do a part two, Lord. As well, we get uh, another precept numbers. Certain notes that I wrote down. I'm not probably not gonna go through all of them, but uh, just for this edge of it, just for the uh, like for this lesson, uh, um, Numbers uh, 35 verse 33. So you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood defiles the land. Right? So this land was established off of the blood of our ancestors, man. You know, and uh, you know, I'm gonna do a part two about uh, Sam, you know, about Samuel de Champlain, you know, who uh, basically he was a, a Frenchman and he was a he was a Edomite, you know, but uh, there's a man named that like Matthias da Costa, and uh, he was an explorer, you know, and uh basically uh let me just get it all right because uh these people they have a lot of things to uh pay for man so Matthias the costa right um no i come out of that stock you know through my uh my mother's side and uh my father's side i uh go back to the uh to uh the brits you know of uh, england you know through uh the Stuart stock i come out of that stock you know so uh um, you know so i um let me keep going i, I always made a lot of lessons about this but uh you know, I feel like that could have been me, man, in my time, man, because, uh, you know, I was born the same time, every damn thing, man. But, um, let's see, Matei da Costa was a black Canadian, black African, he's not African, right? You know, he basically, uh, you know, he was, uh, a lot of his families, you know, they, you know, came from Portugal, the Azores. And uh, we were, uh, you know, like seafarers, you know, even before him, Matei da Costa, his fa his family would come to the, uh, you know, to Newfoundland and uh, Greenland, you know, Iceland, and uh, I come out of that stock, you know, so I, I know for sure that I come out of this stock, uh, no doubt about it. It says. Gaspar, real Gaspar, uh, explored, you know, born 1450, died 1501. All right, uh, could do your research, but uh, basically, I come out of this stock, 
on my mom's side my my uh father's side i come out of the uh st the um the steward stock and uh you know like the britain right man on the covenant you know uh also made like a uh a, a mo uh a thing on odyssey gms yasha allah banyo man about uh the anglo-saxon you know the meaning of uh of um you know anglo-saxon and so on and so on i made a quick uh lesson i couldn't really uh put it on uh youtube you know because they probably would have uh scrapped it you know but uh i come out of this stock on my mom's side so i come from a, a royal stock and uh and that's why it's important to uh you know you have members you know throughout your family or whatever ask your uh, grandmother you know if they're still alive or your great grandmother um ask them about your history you know about your family history right through your father and mother's side if they're still alive because uh, i learned a lot of things you know through them uh, you know through my uh like my grandfather you know on my uh, father's side uh, you know i talked to him a couple weeks ago and uh as well as my grandmother's side all right so uh, very important said so the court reel or court reel which means court means uh the court royal or royal court all right it basically means royal court was a portuguese family of noble origin in the 14th century or it says originated in like in tabria all right it should be in portugal the family is famous for its involvement in the portuguese in the portuguese discovery during the age of exploration in the 16th century during this time joa val Coril, right and his Casper Court Real, all right. So the Royal Court and Miguel Court Real, notably uh, exploration voyage to Newfoundland and Canada. And also, parent Costa, all right. So the, it comes out of that stock, all right. So you know, so Mateo de Costa and all that they come out of that stock. So I know that. Uh, I am sovereign to this land of Canada, you know, and uh, through Britain. All right, so uh, you know, because uh, everything that we learned in school, you know, was a lie. You know, and uh, there's a, also a good uh, a PDF you could download as well, uh, like Matthias da Costa and early canada the pdf you know it's a very good pdf if you want to download it you know and uh you know but basically uh Mateo da costa he's the one who uh you know like he bridged a gap you know like with the french but basically he was stabbed in the back you know and he was betrayed right and uh basically uh he uh he was he had a contract for basically 10 years or basically almost 10 years basically uh to uh to uh the french and basically uh you know he uh he was jailed and uh basically we don't really know what happened but uh he probably uh was uh something happened or maybe he uh because uh we don't really hear anything from him after right? but um yeah this is all just in the spirit god's gonna make a part two but this is probably just gonna be part one because uh probably gonna have to do uh another one about uh the history of uh of slavery throughout canada as well right because uh 
this thing is vast man we were we were lied to man you know it says uh the blackfoot confederacy right so uh you know there was uh you know our people were very dark you know you know like because you know um like before when esau came you know you know our people was very dark you know but you know when esau came and started mingling up his seed whatever a lot of our people got light all right so uh right now uh right now the lord's gonna he's gonna sever out the wheat and the tears right all right because uh there's a lot of tears all right who's amongst our nation right the blackfoot indians you know i was watching uh a thing uh i can't uh yeah i can't uh play it but i'll probably leave it there uh native americans uh yeah um you watch this skit you know like with uh if you watch that uh well, if you watch this uh, stand up with Dave Chappelle and Native Americans, it's very uh, funny. You know? Very funny. You know, I, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna send the link. I'm gonna share the link in the, um, in the description. You know? Um, let me get a precept. It says, uh, so you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are for blood defile of the land and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein but by the blood of him that shed it all right and and that's why this blood's going to be shed or this land is going to be shed you know because uh basically um like Matthias the costa he was like the go-between you know with uh the tribes you know because uh he, he you know he he spoke many different tongues you know as well as um like the native tongues you know where uh you know like where the tribes were you know and uh basically uh he was uh silenced you know and uh basically uh isa he uh came cunningly and uh basically he brought a lot of plagues a lot of disease man you know in like you know on like to the land and uh he betrayed he deceived he says uh it's in uh i'm gonna get that precept i think it's in uh second Ezra, not second Ezra's uh sarak sarak i think it's 13 let me get it Sirach 13, it says, never trust thy enemy, if I could find it. Just flown in the spirit. Yeah, I'm going to get that. All right, because uh, Samuel D. Champlain, here in Canada, man, he's the one who uh, basically, uh, who funded, you know, like the new France, you know, that whole uh, exploration. You know was funded by him you know but he had to have uh explorate he had to had to explore right which has been that mate da costa right you know, and but they don't want to really go into that when they have these uh you know these discussions or uh you know like they don't really want that out there Yeah, it's locking. We can get it. Mate, uh, Samuel D. Champlain. Come on, I come out of that, that that stock, you know. You no, know, he was uh, has a postcard or whatever, but uh, you know, there's even a bill that's uh, after this man, you know. But basically, uh, 
it's um basically is not and void basically because it's not really being honored and they should really make a holiday and uh basically you know go and go into it you know because this was you know samuel de champlain and he was uh basically uh he was like a uh he was a, a basically a guy who came but uh basically uh, a lot of our people were still ruling europe at the time you know and he was just a mercenary you know for the king you know the king of france right Yeah, let me get that precept is uh stuck here. Yeah, and I'm gonna as well with this uh Yeah, I watched this. Uh, it's a, it's off, off, off of CBC News. It's a very good one. And um, yeah, I'm not going to play it, but I'm going to share this link. The world collided. It said, world collided. It said, Canada. It said, the story of us. And the full episode one. Very good. I'm going to send that. I'm going to share that in the, uh, in the description. Right, because uh, this land was established off of blood, man, right here throughout Canada. You know, my uh, Lord will later I make a part two. You know, of cat was you know of uh, the history of uh, slavery and uh, slavery in Canada. You no. Know? All right. This place, this place is wicked. So you shall not pollute the land wherein you are, for blood the blood is the of the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood, but by the blood that is shed there, but by the blood of him that shed it. Right? So that's why the Heavenly Father, you know, he's uh, he just right now Esau's sins is up to the heavens, man, you know, but. You know, like we're just waiting for, uh, you know, the prophecies, man, you know, to come to pass. We're saying, you know, we're basically living in, uh, you know, like 2023 is going to be the year of, uh, you know, of prophecies, man. You know, basically uh, the MOTB, uh, Jacob Trouble and World War Three, man. It's like that's all we have to look forward to now, man. All right. Because this land is wicked man defiled and this place is gonna be cleansed defile not the land wherein ye are which ye shall inhabit wherein i dwell for the for i the lord dwell among the children of israel so the lord he he's only dwelling amongst us all right and uh you people they came here with um You know, with their, uh, you know, like with their manifest destiny, you know, it was manifested, right? Because uh, we had to fall, right? Because uh, we were living very affluent and fat, you know, we we're fighting amongst each other, doing, you know, so, you know, like, so basically, Esau, the Heavenly Father used Esau as our whipping stick, you know, Psalm 17, All right? But me get uh, Sarak. Uh, 12 So lock okay. so rock 12 So rock So rock 12 So lock okay. 12 and 10 Um Ecclesiastes 12 and 10 Never trust thine enemy For like as iron is rusted 
so is his wickedness and that's what he did man you know with you know like Simon de Champlain you know like yeah Mate da Costa you know he was a translator you know he he knew the different tongues you know the French uh, Basque um, Portuguese you know the pigeon dialect you know which would be like the native type dialects you know like they're you know like they're you know because they had all kind of you know because they had many different types of dialects you know never trust thy enemies for like as it says it's like a, it says never trust thy enemies for like as iron rusted so is his weakness right so you know we see how this Canada was established right you know because uh you know basically like the Britain you know the uh like the loyalists you know of uh Britain you know a lot of our people we were still in power you know read about uh you know King George the first King George the third the third you know um Joseph uh Brandt you know He's a, a Gada or Reuben or whatever, and uh, you know we, we we had power, right? But you know we all fell eventually. You know, that's why uh, we're at the bottom, man. So uh, so is his wickedness, though he you know because uh, you know like this Samuel De Champlain, man, he like he loved he loved the gun, man, you know. And that's Esau's weapon, man, that, that sword, man, you know, like that gun, man. And he killed a lot of our people here in Canada, man. Though he humbled himself and go crouching, yet take good heed, you know. And that's what he, you know, we see what, uh, like what happened here throughout Canada with, uh, you know, with the, uh, Um, like the scurvies, you know, like they're, just, you know, like they're, uh, you know, cause these people were doing all kinds of stuff, man. These people wouldn't take baths, you know, they're nasty, you know, people had lice, all kind of different disease and germs, you know, these people were, uh, you know, like the damn Flintstones, man, you know, Esau was very, he was brought very low. So, um, yeah, let me continue. Though he uh, humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed, right? You know, with uh, his scurvies. Yeah, let me get that. All right. You saw it's nasty, man. Scurvies. Scurvy is a disease caused by serious, like vitamin C, like vitamin C deficiency. Not eating enough fruits, vegetables is the main cause of this of this disease, right? So you saw he was very famished, man. All right, he never had. He 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 wasn't he, like he wouldn't be able to survive, you know, in like um like like through like the winters, you know. So basically, like the you know like the uh, you know like the you know Gad Rubin, you know like they would uh, you know, you know like teach him, you know like they would teach, you know like these Edomites, you know like how to live and and how to like maintain themselves you know and uh, basically uh you know like you know like they learned a lot of n our knowledge and stuff and basically uh you know like they use that knowledge and they shot us in the back All right so you know so that's the e man the serpent man though it says uh it said beware of him Right, so we, you know, we watched that movie, uh, in the Planet of the Apes. It says, "Beware of the beast, man." Right, <laughs> you know, we watched that scene, and you know, like that's E, that's Esau, man. Beware of him, 
and thou shalt be unto him as thou hast wiped a looking glass thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away right so even though like they wanna like uh be uh very uh prominent and want to be clean clean shave and nice suit and tie and you know proper eloquent speech and all that man you know like you're not gonna get away man you know you know you're doing all you know you're doing all kinds of thing on these different islands and you're doing all you know stuff to these children and these these sea rings what they're doing man you know you're gonna be judged man sit set him not by thee lest when he shall overtake thee he shall stand up in thy place right so you know Mate the Casa right and Samuel de Champlain you know like you know like Mate de Casa he will he, he, he like he was overtaken by Samuel de Champlain man you know and uh basically uh you know he uh he had a uh he basically he, he built up himself and his and his empire you know like new france you know with the the french and that's why like they have quebec now and all that neither let him sit at thy right hand lest he seeketh to take thy seat right and that's what it is man you know read that history man about Matthias de costa and the early canada right? that pdf man and thou shalt be at the last as i remember my words and be pricked therewith you know whatever uh, let me see what else i wanna probably gotta do a part two Alright, and I'm gonna have to do a part two. Um, but with that, I'd like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. Alright, um, Shalom, I'm gonna uh, send these, uh, these things on the, um, um, yeah i'm gonna share the link um you know about uh stand up with uh dave Chappelle and uh basically uh the history of uh canada with uh like samuel de champlain you know and i'm gonna share that link but uh, with that, let us all praises due unto you. How about Shemel Shai, the ones of the apostles of Great Millstone? Uh, hopefully, you were edified. Um, Shalom.